Hey, this is Miami Herald sports writer Manny Navarro. Uh, day's almost wrapped up here at Dolphins High School Football Media Day and uh, joined by two Gulliver Raiders. Coach Earl Sims here, running back Robert Burns. And uh, Coach, let me start with you. Uh, first of all, you know, you guys are doing a little something different this year. Instead of playing in district, going to ind independent play. Talk about that. Correct. Uh, basically, you know, our, our administration uh, made a decision, uh, administrative move, and, and, and we have full you know, trust in, in, in them and as far as their, uh, you know, catering to uh, making sure that we're, we're successful on the field. We're going through a little bit of rebuilding year right now, mm -hmm. and so we are indeed rebuilding, and, and it's a positive attitude, you know, it's just we got to put in the work. Now, how many kids did you have out for football this year? Uh, this past season, uh, I'd say probably about 28 uh, varsity players, uh, and we had about 15 JV that stuck out, so about 40, about 43. So you guys needed a year to kind of recoup and bring the numbers back up. Well, that that could be that can be one theory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess. So what, what's your what are your thoughts? Why do you think the administration felt that way? Well, I think that was uh, in part mm -hmm. reason why why we did make that move mm -hmm. uh, to get numbers up. You know, this whole this whole uh, move football. There used to be a lot of numbers everywhere. Mm -hmm. you, you know, we're not the only school. Right. But you look at other schools that are public schools, that, that numbers have dwindled. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just tr trying to catch up. Seems like they're all going to the same school. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't. I said it for you. <laughs> but, you, of course, you still have one of the best athletes in the country here, Mr. Burns, next to me. And, uh, you know, you uh, were committed to UM, or you still are, right? Still, yeah. still, still committed to the University sure. of Miami. Talk about that commitment, why you made it so early. I know it was over a year ago now, right? Yeah. Uh, and and where it's at. Yeah, um, <laughs> I committed to the UM. I feel like it was a place where, you know, I can grow as a person, grow as a player. It's close to home. You know, I have my support system nearby. I'm still committed. I was just at practice earlier today. Okay. You know, I have a pretty good relationship with some of the coaches here. Anytime there's a coaching change as a recruit, I'm sure you get nervous. Did Coach Rick and his staff reach out to you right away as soon as the old staff went away? Um, they're actually recruiting me from Georgia. Oh, okay. So, so you, had, you already had a previous relationship. Right, right. So the relationship just sort of evolved from there. Okay. And, and, I'm, and I know recruiting never ends, so which schools are still coming after you hard? Uh, man, Bama, uh, Syracuse, um, those are schools, those are just probably the two that stick out this week. Okay, they're still coming at you pretty hard. And, and were you going to take it up to signing day, or, or, or is this something oh, that's no, a I'm, I'm going to make my decision pretty early. Pretty early, okay, yes, a final decision. When do you think you'll do that? Um, we're expecting to sign before December. Okay, so you'll be going to college early and yes, registering early. That's good. Um, so, last season, talk about kind of what you went through last year, uh, what your goals are for this coming year. Right, uh, last year, you know, I, I dealt with a lot of injury, and um, man, it was kind of an adversity year. Um, I got to watch, uh, you know, me from a different angle, you know, mm -hmm. watch the game from a different perspective. This year, I just want to stay healthy and give back to the young guys. Okay. Coach, uh, the roster, obviously you got one guy here who, who's pretty talented, but mm -hmm. some of the other players that you're looking forward to, to stepping up this year, they're maybe part of the future of Gulliver. Uh, definitely we have another senior. I, I'd like to say all the seniors mm -hmm. because, you know, all of them, when we did have a dis that decision to go independent, they had a decision to make too, and their decision was to stick there. Mm -hmm. So uh, though I say every senior that's, st that's stuck with our team, uh, to highlight some of them, uh, Mandy Alonzo, who's, who's committed to, new, to the University of Virginia. Right. Uh, we, Big D tackle. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you know, Dwayne Terry, who came over from uh, Dave Christian. Mm -hmm. uh, he also adds, uh, adds value to our team. And we have a bunch of young guys. We got a defensive end out there, Deshaun Perry, mm -hmm. who's a, a rising sophomore, mm -hmm. who, who's a stud and going to help us on the defense as well on the offense. Uh, we also have James Jackson, Jason Giyu, Devontae Montgomery. I can. You can go down Pretty the much list. Say the whole you can roster. name the whole roster. Yeah. yeah. What's the schedule look like? Who are you guys playing against this year? So, and that's why I'm, I'm glad you asked that. You know, because independent to us doesn't mean that our schedule is independent. Mm -hmm. We're still playing Berlin. We, we we're still playing a, a seven, might be an eight A team in in Orlando who went to the playoffs. Mm -hmm. You know, the only two. There's only a few teams on our schedule from last year that aren't on our schedule this year. Everything mm -hmm. else. Is a competitive schedule. Ten game schedule. Uh, yes, correct. So, you, so you're still gonna have a full slate. What do you hope to prove in those uh, ten games? Uh, you know, coming off the injuries and, and everything you went through last year. Um, 
Just that I can remain a leader, mm -hmm. you know, despite, you know, what happened last year. Mm -hmm. Just want to lead those young guys. All right. Well, I'm sure you're going to get lots of opportunity. Right. Coach, thank you guys for coming down, and we wish you. You the, wish you the best of luck this coming season. Thank you. Thank All right. you. All right. Go